praise, praise, praise the Lord. Rise to your feet and shout hallelujah. Let me congratulate the new ordinance. The anointing that has been released upon you shall rest on you permanently. God will never withdraw the anointing from you. His grace will sustain and keep you all through. His mercy will be your shield. His spirit will direct you every day of your life. And it shall be well with you. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for the opportunity to serve in the vineyard. Father, I ask that the word you want for your children will come for this morning. Word of life. Word of help. Word of deliverance. Word of fulfillment. And word of promotion. Let it come forth to your children. In Jesus' most powerful name we pray. Be seated and God bless you. I give thanks to God for this great opportunity to stand here and minister to you. And I thank our Father in the Lord and our mommy in the Lord. The Lord will keep on preserving you. I have been asked to talk to you this morning on coveting the best gifts. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28 to 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28 to 31. We have some ministry gifts lifted, listed there. And at the end of the listing of the ministry gifts, the question was asked, are all apostles, are all miracle workers, do all interpret tongues and the like? Then he says, but earnestly covet the best gifts. That means we have the best of them. We have those that are better. So there are three classes of gifts. Before then, the nine singular gifts were lifted, listed in the same first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 to 11, which you know. And then the ministerial gifts were lifted later. <clears throat> but Paul in his epistle to the officials gave us the list of the five ministry gifts. The singular gifts are grouped into three. The vocal gifts, which are inspirational. The revelation gifts. And then, the action gifts, which are power gifts. Of the inspirational gifts, prophecy is the most desirable because it does what the others do. Of the action gifts, faith is the best of them because it does what miracle does, what miracles do it will do, and what uh, healing, the gifts of healing do it will do. But when you come to the revelation gifts, it's a bit dicey. But the best of them is the word of wisdom because it does not only solve problems, it also gives you guidance. And Paul says, earnestly, desire, covet. When you know the purpose of the gifts, it will help you to streamline your desire. Some really, the gifts are given to bring supernatural blessings to the individuals in the church and to the church body collectively so you can make profit from the gift of healing if you are anointed to heal the sick the day you are sick during your ministration the anointing that is flowing out through you to other people can be reversed into your body to heal you the day your child is sick you can make profit from it your child can be healed but if God anoints you to heal the sick and you throw away the 
gift of healing on the day you are sick you will have nothing to profit from so the gifts are given to be a blessing to the church and to be a blessing to you so how do you get the best of them you are given the opportunity and freedom to convert to desire that instruction makes it plain to you and to us that there is no spiritual gift you really truly want for the right purpose and for the right reason that god will not give you the problem we have is that most of us have wrong motives and we need to clean that up and in converting the best gifts apostle paul said i show you the excellent way he said a more excellent way to get your desires so there must be earnestness but there is an excellent way of getting how do we desire he goes on to say you may speak in tongues of men and of angels if you do not have love like you are like a sounding cymbal like tambourine that is making noise that's all you are he said you may know all mysteries if you have no love you are nothing as a baby christian i used to think that apostle paul was just trying to overemphasize love the night is just power 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 but brethren everybody who gets anointed and becomes gifted and does not grow and abide in love will be destroyed that's the danger of the gift if you do not grow in love the absence of love will not only reduce you to nothing but to minus so i know you are eager to be used and i know that they have been talking to us about the miraculous but if you get the miraculous and there is absence of love the miraculous will destroy you people want to be the greatest the most noble the most famous and so on run motive it will destroy you so what are you supposed to do simple what's the purpose for the gift to build up the body to bless the body so every time you want a manifestation of a gift think of the blessing in 1978 i observed that my ministry in healing the sick and casting out of devils was growing enormously but i was lacking in the sounding of spirits i had word of knowledge i had word of wisdom i had prophecy and so on but i discovered that i couldn't i was limited when it came to on some cases because of the absence of the sounding of spirits I turned to God. I said, God, let's make a deal. You have exposed me to this thing now. I'm finding limitation. I need you to add the signing of spirits to me so that it becomes easy for me to cast out devils. And God added it. That is different from, oh God, give me this signing of spirits so that everybody will know that I have the signing of spirits and they will know that I'm a prophet. Stupid motivation. I went in a crusade somewhere. The first day of the meeting, the crowd was very scanty, and I decided to call for miracles, and the Lord showed his power. Instant healing. Deaf, dumb, people were sick, people who are sick, who are down. They were healed instantly with testimonies. Young man came around. He said, Ah, Odure. He said, He told one of my disciples, he said, See, your guy just came here, did miracles, and made altar call. I went down. He said, if he's my ogre, he will snap picture like this. He will do like this. He will send it round. He will make a blast of it. He will use it to raise money. Or do they? I said, hey? So my disciple told him, he said, you and your guy must be on your way to hell. Go and ask Gehazi. Gehazi thought the gift of God was to make money. The gift of God is not for pomp and pride. Get your motives right. A lot of anointed men of God 
their lives have been cut short. They were mightily used by God for miracles, for signs and wonders. But they became history before they died or they died abruptly because they touched the glory of God, they touched the money of God, and they abused the girls. Many people want to be used mightily. But don't forget, the Holy Spirit, whose power will be manifesting in you, is called holy so after god has promoted you i saw men of god who became classmates with god they became equal with god after god has anointed them at their words the lame will be rising and jumping the blind will be receiving their sight they will be saying it is me god gave the anointing the pastor bible said he said come 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 it's not everything in the bible they edit the Bible, they edit the word of God, they correct the word of God, saying that they are wiser than God, making themselves equal with God. That is why they enter into sham and shame. Your life will not end up like that. I don't know where God is sending you, but if you want to covet the best of the gifts, tell God, I want this for the purpose of blessing your body. There has been not a single time that I get into trouble with soul winning and people are not responding and I say, God, what is happening? Tell me one of their secrets. Almost within 30 seconds, Holy Spirit will tell me exactly what they are, some embarrassing things. And when I tell them, they collapse and go on their knees. The purpose was not to display the word of knowledge. It was to win their soul. If your purpose today is for soul winning, then I'm going to pray. Any spiritual gift you want, my father will release it. The Holy Spirit will release it. The Lord Jesus will release it. Converting the best gifts must be done in love. You must be humble you must be kind you must be compassionate you heal the sick not to show the power but out of a heart of compassion that god if i was sick like this i would want you to heal me you must be easy going you must not be boastful you must be patient because they will come when you are trying to sleep I said, don't disturb me, don't disturb me. No. You must never give up. For you to receive, you need to believe God. And believe what I tell you. It doesn't take God 10 minutes to give out. It is whether your heart is ready to receive. I want to ask you. Do you believe the prayers that have been prayed for you this morning do you believe you are anointed already do you believe that if you ask you will be given do you believe that the fire will fall on you i've seen god remaining faithful to his word over and over always faithful heaven will open shortly or let me say heaven has been opened the fire of the gift you want will be released so if you want a release of any spiritual gift to help the work in your hand and the kingdom rise to your feet i'm going to pray for you now say father i promise you I will not touch your glory I will not touch the gold that belongs to you I will not be like Eli's children I will not be like Achan I will not be like Gehazi by the grace of God I will sanctify your money Say, Father, 
I receive grace not to touch your glory every time you walk through me I will give you all the glory I will not look down on anybody neither will I become rude to my leaders by the grace of God I also ask you keep me from sexual lusts and any other uncleanness I will not take advantage of the anointing on my life to abuse your flock I trust you O oh Lord that you will give me as I ask you today and you will do beyond my expectation in the name of Jesus amen based on this commitment stretch forth your two hands and ask the lord in the next one minute the gift you want and what you want to do with it Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now conclude your prayers and say, I receive by faith what you promised me that if I ask, I shall be given. I open up my heart for the fire to fall now. Thank you, Lord. I believe your word. I believe your promise. I believe your servant. It shall be unto me as I have asked. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray now. My father, my father, I am not the owner of the gifts. They are called the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are the owner. Lord Jesus, you send the Holy Spirit. Now, their hearts are open. Kese kerana, embu sutayana. Fire! Let the gifts fall. Prophecy. Diversities of tongues. Interpretation of tongues. Gifts of healing. Working of miracles. Faith. Discerning of spirits. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Oh God, as you have destined individuals, let them begin to receive now. Now shout, I receive the fire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The rain is falling. The fire is falling. The fire is falling. The fire is falling. The fire is falling. Continue to receive. The fire is falling. Eyes are being opened. Revelations. Gifts are being poured out. The fire is falling. Everywhere it's falling. It's falling. It's falling. It's falling. Holy Spirit, let me take care of the crowd. Lord, as they are falling, there will be no injury. Holy Spirit, let me take care. Let me take care. Thank you, Lord, for the fire. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the outpouring. Thank you, Lord, for the grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.